computer science to your numerology reading for May. I hope your friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Talk about love over here. Oh, I love that. And for the fire signs, this is for Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Okay. So let's see what we got going on over here. This is the card of unconditional love, right? Being open to your partner, getting ready for love, opening up for love, balancing yourself for love. Finding the balance. I love it. <clears throat> Finding true love. Reconnecting for the harmony. Let's see what we got going on over here, my friends. Could be seeing a lot of sixes. Communication in love. Angelic frequency. Angels are here. You are safe and protected through this connection of love. You will soon, if this is twin flame and you guys know that you are having some kind of twin flame connection or know that they're coming towards you, this is a great card for knowing that you will soon meet your twin flame. This is an unbreakable bond that is coming towards you. Okay. You might also be seeing numbers like 444, 222, 111. <clears throat> This is the Gaia Gateway Activation, Learning Experiences, Wisdom Transmission, and Earth Intelligence. This is where it says, hey, you know what? I've learned all my experiences to be able to be with this soulmate that is coming in, this love. I have self-love. I have learned to love. I know what love is about. I understand unconditional love. Right? I have learned. It also represent family, harmony, and communication for that love as well, six. It relates to care and nurture as it plays a part to help others that are less fortunate than ourselves as well. So also having the chambers of the violet flame coming through. Oh, I love that. This is karmic release. Guys, guys, you have gone, a lot of you have gone through some kind of karmic learning experience, some kind of spiritual journey, right, to release your karmics. Oh my gosh. The radical transformation. How beautiful is that? And the angels are here to protect you on these journeys at all times. Just so you know, any transition that you are going through, whether it's a great awakening, uh, transitions, small transitions, big ones, spiritual journeys, doesn't matter, reflections, all of those things, you always are protected by the divine, right? You have to be. <laughs> so you're not completely attacked, right, as you're going, especially when it's anything that has to do with getting to the dark side of yourself as in karmic release and karmic things. Um, but having the abundance and spiritual awakening too, they don't like you when you, when you awaken, right? So you have to be divinely protected abundance. I am limitless being, and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. Okay. I'm getting this now. I'm understanding exactly what's going on. It's time to release any kind of negativity that is still spawning around you, anything that's still kind of holding you back, that's trying to come through because you need to start manifesting your desires. You've gone through the transformation. Oh my gosh, I get it. I get it. I get it. I love it. The energy is gaining momentum. Oh my gosh. Which is the energy is gaining momentum of your manifestation. So you want to make sure that you're releasing any kind of negative energy. Do not allow negative energy to impact you when you are manifesting when you are manifesting. It's like you just got through this transition, or you're maybe you're still on this journey um, and still there, but you're still releasing all your karmics. Your karmic releases, you're done, you're at the end. Don't let negativity get in the way. Now it's time to manifest those dreams. You've learned the lessons, you understand what's going on within yourself. You have, like I said, you learned the self-love, you've learned what love is. Right? So surrender to the divine. It's time to surrender. Release all of that so you can surrender. I I love it. So you have new love coming in because it says you've learned what you need to learn. You have the communication, the peace of mind, the support from the universe. Oh. You've learned what you need to learn to change your whole life around. When you're out of this and you get the abundance and the abundance starts coming through, you are not going to be the same person that I'm talking to today. In fact, a lot of you are probably saying, I'm not really even 100% the same person now. Of course not. You're either going through a spiritual journey 
or you have just come out of one, it is now time. You have become the magician. You are the high priestess. You are the empress. You are ready to rock and roll. You're in a high state of power. Because you know who you are, what you want, and what you're doing here. Yes, patience is always needed, but it's showing also divine protection on top of the divine protection. The angels are guiding you. Your ancestors are guiding you. Your higher powers in the divine, right? And this is about finding the balance within yourself. Making sure that when you find the patience, right, that you understand the purpose. This is your purpose. You were put on this transition for a reason. The reason is so that you can have the abundance that you're looking for in love. Talk about finding the meaning of life. Things that you love as well, right? However it is, it's the harmony. It could be even within, like I said, the home. Stepping into working things out for you. Having a perspective of what is going on around you. Do not let the negative energy work against you or allow it to, you know, or you'll allow yourself to work against yourself. That's called self-sabotage. Careful of that, right? You could be trying to fix things within your household, overcoming the problems, but maintaining the peaceful positiveness within yourself, within your home, within you know, your surroundings, workplace, everywhere, everywhere, absolutely. This all is about making sure that when you're in this transition, the wisdom of the transition that you're going through, the learning experiences, the karmic release, the radical transformations, the releasing, the gaining momentum is all about having the faith. You have a healing process that you've gone through. You have the renewal of spirituality because that's what transition is. You have two cards of transition. This is amazing, you guys. Beautiful reading. You have the faith. This comes with good fortune. That's why you, you have good abundance coming. Now start, you're already going to have the good abundance coming because anytime you do what you're supposed to do, you are rewarded through your karmic rewards for doing what you're supposed to do. And now it's a good omen and a good time to start even manifesting on the things that you really, really want in life. Allow yourself to do so. It's your right to do so. Take the action. Hold tight to your dreams. Your intuition is super high right now. Of course it is because of the transition. So it's time to make those dreams into reality. Bring them from 5D into 3D, guys. Let's go. Hold tight to what you need to hold tight to. If you've learned through this that I love myself enough to hold and save money, and this was all about loving myself enough to have the abundance of money, love whatever it is. You have found the love one way or another. Love is huge in self, understanding others, right? Everybody, everything around you, right? But it's time to take control of your manifestations and dream the big dream. Even if it seems like the dream is so unreachable at this time, don't worry about it. It will filter itself down to become the reality it needs to become. Right? I'm not saying manifest a Ferrari. Okay. You would have to get the job first, but maybe that's it. I'm manifesting a Ferrari. Hey, you know what? Maybe the Lord will give you a job to be the platform for the foundation to start working towards one day having that Ferrari. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Right now, dream big. Right now is a big time to dream big. Okay. Just no unicorns and pegasus, my friends. Right? But you know what I'm trying to say. That way you have a foundation, a platform. The things that I want you to manifest right now, though, seriously, are things that, that are attainable, that you can hold. And then I want you to take those into the present and say, you know what? I see myself driving this new car. Probably not the Ferrari, but whatever car, you know, is attainable. If you know that you can afford a BMW, then you see yourself driving that BMW. Put it into the now. Put it into the present now. See yourself holding that soulmate close. See yourself, you know, with this person. If you don't know who it is, it's someone. Give it a face. Right? Do whatever you need to do. 
attain it. Make the energy gain momentum. By bringing it into the present, makes it gain momentum. Because this, the Lord says, the universe says, you want it? Let's do it. Keep doing it. Don't be unbiased. Or, excuse me. Be unbiased. Do not be biased towards yourself. Be unbiased about your dreams. Cut through, you know, anything that's bullshit. You know what you want, guys. Have the communication with the universe to allow yourself clear-mindedness and perspective of what it is you really want. Clear the boundaries of things that you know are toxic and do not need to be. You just got out of a... You have just gotten out of a huge transformation one way or another. You know what's good for your life and what's bad. If it's negative, let it go. Allow room for the new to come in. And don't forget to use your imagination to do so. Your imaginations are manifesting and it's pure power. Yes, transition. Allow the baggages to go. Move forward. Giving and receiving. This is giving and receiving to yourself. As you give to yourself, the universe gives back. Make sure that you're giving what you want to yourself. And allow the universe to give you back what it is you desire. This is beautiful. And, you know, you guys are probably are seeing a lot of eights. There's a lot of eights in here for manifestation. Fives for the change. Four for stability. Six for the harmony. Two sixes for the harmony. And there's nine there for the ending. Plus the one for the new beginning and the eight for the manifestation again. And then, of course, we have six, 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 six. A lot of harmony in this, in this reading. A lot of peace, a lot of love, and a lot of relaxation. Wow. So keeping yourself positive and allow your space as a place to unwind. Do not allow your space to be conflicted with um, energy. Declutter all the energy around your space. Make sure that you are making a space for yourself that feels fantastic for your mind and soul. Right? A place where you can allow energy to flow that you feel relaxed. A place that you can feel like, you know what, this is where I want to be. This is a place that nurtures me. A place that makes me feel connected. Because this is going to be the place that also is reminding you of the power of the, connect, of the connections of love. You want to make sure that you have a space, my friends, where you do not have any stress in that area. No more stress. You know, you want to make it the bathroom, put candles everywhere, incense, whatever, a bedroom. However, maybe your back porch, you can put flowers, you can put plants, you do whatever you need to do. But you find a place of that you can de-stress. Maybe it's even out in the wilderness, maybe out in the park, under a tree. Maybe you feel comfortable. Okay. However it is, but make sure that you're giving yourself the balance and attention that is necessary and the love and spreading that outward. Could even be just your office at work. You know what? We'll talk outside the office. We're not talking in my office because this is a place of calm and relaxation. I'll go to your office. It's chaotic. That way I can come back over here, light a candle, and say, my gosh, <laughs> that was stressful. And you're going to feel the energy of other places and other people's places of chaos. And within transformations, we actually do allow a lot of people to go. You want to make room for what you love. And if you're with somebody who causes you nothing but stress, you probably, yeah, communicate clearly what it is you need. Either they're going to grow with you and show you what you need to know and what you can do to build and get out of the hectic areas of that relationship, or you might find yourself walking. Um, because a lot of this is just like, you no, know, yeah, you're going to be choosing a lot of new directions, my friends, and that's for sure. Because you're going to find this is Cheney. This is that, and within the, the next year, you're going to have a whole new life, a whole new everything, way of seeing everything, right? You're going to be 100% different person a year from now. You're going to come back to me in a year from now, and you're going to say, my God, I am so different. I've grown. I'm this, I'm that. I'm not with this person. I found out my best friend was a narcissist, and I didn't, you know, I couldn't figure out, you know, it's kind of like I checked in to check out. <laughs> right? Uh, I checked in to check out. So remain positive because your near future is full of beauty and success. Oh my gosh, and you've got so many helpful people that are along the way. Plus you have all the angels around you. You'd be surprised of how many new people are going to come into your life that are going to be divinely given to you to help you along 
this beautiful new transition and this beautiful new you. So watch those numbers and watch those signs and synchronicities. I also see that a lot of you probably see a lot of doves, pigeons, something of this nature, which are a part of harmony and love. Um, so watch your also your animals, okay? Watch your animals, my friends. They have a lot to do with things. If you feel like you're at a crossroads, you see a squirrel, remember, they're puzzle solvers, right? You can solve that puzzle. So watch all the little signs. If you guys don't know what it means, Google it. Put down, i seen a squirrel. You know, what does that telling me? Put it down as animal spirit guide. It will bring it up. Everything that you see that really catches your attention, you don't know what it means, Google that. Google it, right? I do it all the time. I found out a lot of things that I never knew, right? I see weird things. As a lot of you know, I've been on a spiritual journey since, I don't know, what, March or something? I've seen all kinds of weird things, and I was like, oh, my God, that's what that means. You know? Guys, I live in the desert, and there was a roly-poly in my kitchen. We don't have roly-polies in the desert. It's, like, really weird, right? It's very odd. Of course, they're here somewhere, but, how, you know... That didn't make any sense. I haven't seen a roly-poly. I live in the desert 20 years, and it's the first time I've ever seen a roly-poly outside, inside, anywhere. Sure, they're here somewhere. It's just, how the hell did you get in my house, and why am I looking at you? So I looked it up. And you know what it means? Spiritual trans transformation. <laughs> what the fuck? Literally. What? Okay. That's fine, you know. Hey, I already knew that. You already gave me a raven, like, 12 times. But I'm just saying, you see something that's out of the ordinary, like a roly-poly in the, you know, in your area, which you haven't seen forever. It doesn't mean they don't exist there. It's just like, why are you here and why are you catching my attention? You guys know what I'm talking about. Google it. Figure it out. You'd be surprised. Okay? You'd be really, really surprised about what that really means. And in fact, on my, my clock right now, it is, in my time, one, one, one. Okay? It is literally, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it is 111. Yep, it's still there. So there's our message right there. And, you know, we Google it. What does it want to say about angel love? Ah. <sighs> Angel number 111 is full of love, synchronicity, and positivity. There you go. For spiritual growth. Shut the up. We're just talking about right now. So if you see things like that on your phone and you're noticing doubles and stuff like that, and you notice that's a lot of them, just Google it. Angel number love, angel number itself, however. Okay. Okay, guys. That's, that was it. Until next time. Bye-bye.